Hey guys, and welcome back to Medal of Honor. Last time we fought our way through the hedgerows, and uh, we actually found what we were looking for. We found the fi the pilot, the pilot. Yeah, we found the pilot. We found the pilot and his logbook. Oh, we didn't find the pilot. No, but we found the plane. Anyway, we did find the village. So let's continue. Search the town, and my aspect ratio is defaulted to a widescreen again so the game looks ass. there we go Trabian Peterson or Patterson those hedgerows were crawling with Germans I'm glad to see that you made it through all in one piece the G3's trail has brought you to my home village of Dubison probably butchered that and my missus would probably be quite angry because um, <clears throat> she's French so yeah mm. glossing over that the G3 knew that there was a active marquee cell here, so I hope he's safe in their hideout. Unfortunately, there's a more pressing problem, the Gestapo. Set up as the Nazi party's secret police, the Gestapo is filled with miscreants and wanton criminals who lack the discipline of professional soldiers. Gestapo members are ransacking homes and shops, brutally driving out the civilians who live and work here. These are people who have supported the resistance throughout the war. Please, you must do something to help them. If you eliminate some of the officers and destroy their ability to communicate with headquarters, I'm confident these thugs will scurry away like rats. Your objectives are neutralize at least eight of the Gestapo officers, destroy the unit's radio, and find the Marquis' hideout. Right, well, I think we can do that. This might be a little bit awkward for me because I have a cat here, right under my finger, and another cat right here under this finger, which you can't see. So, you know what, it might actually be easier to move this one. Little terrorist cat. You don't need to sit on me whilst I'm gaming, do you? No, no you don't, but you will anyway. Why don't you sit next to me? And she goes straight back on, because she's a pain in the ass. Okay, let's go. Ooh, hey buddy! What a nice evening for a stroll. Nice evening to catch a round in your dome. Alright, let's go and investigate this city. Or this village, I should say. And I need to... Uh, like, Guys, don't get cats. Seriously. Uh, oh, God, this one's fat and heavy. There we go. Is it okay if I sit in that space, Stubbs? And you're, you're tangled up by my wires. Is it alright if I can have your seat? Is that, is that cool? And now this one is climbing on me as well. Yeah, God. These cats, honestly. Now they're fighting each other. There we go. Oh, that's better. And straight back on the lap, of course. Right, let's continue anyway. Evening, Fritzel. What are you doing up there? Oh, right. You're dying. Yes. Those guys always die by falling off. Aha, radio equipment. Just the thing we need to destroy. Radio transmitter destroyed. Excellent. Excellent. Now let's keep pressing forwards. Any more frets? Ooh. Now the ambience in this village is really good. Now we have to kill eight of these guys. Just about to say about these. Uh, there's actually a lot more than eight. But of course we're going to go for all... Well, it's close to 100% kill as we can. This isn't a Nazi hunt. This is an extermination. Oh, hey, pal. Did you hear me? And we actually get our first new weapon of the game. The SMG, as the game calls it. But this is like a MP44 or something. Um, it's actually really good. It's like the best SMG in the game, really. Ooh. Who was that? Hey, bud. And I'm messing up my controls because I haven't played for a little while. Oh, I had to go to the shop. Um, cool. Uh oh. Oh, hey, pal. What are you doing? Yeah, as you can see, the generic, like, hip fire, so to speak, really doesn't do much. Ah, oh, see him tuck and roll. Yeah, so as SMGs go, that is, like, the better one. We do get another one later on. Uh, one that is uh, more famous, should we say. Well, I don't know. The MP44 is pretty famous itself. But we do get another iconic one. But 
It is more powerful, but it has a much smaller magazine. Yeah, alarm yourself, pal. Good night. Did he just drop a canteen? No, he dropped his hat. We can't really use his hat. Let's go grab a field surgeon kit. Now, there was one back there, but I think... I think there was another one as well. Yeah, there's one there. Was there another one that we missed? Ah, there are some bullets there. SMG rounds. Nice. But my favourite weapon, sadly, in this game, we're not going to get for quite a while. Oh, I always think there's a med pack there. But there isn't. The ambience in this level is crazy as well. You can hear like lots of German shouting and whatnot, and uh, it really is quite atmospheric. Let's go grab this field surgeon pack, and you can hear barking of dogs as well, which always puts me on edge. The last thing we want is a German shepherd, fucking German attack dog coming, coming at us. My cat's doing barrel rolls on the floor, probably in protest for all the killing. It's got to be done, Stubbs. Ooh, hello, there's a medikit right there, and some bullets, we'll grab that. More SMG rounds, this is great. I'll we'll actually swap up to the SMG in a minute. Alright, ooh, hey guys. Alarm! I'll give you a fucking alarm, you crap bastard. There we go, a little bit off the top. Oh, what's the matter, you're not done yet. Nor are you. Damn. You Aryan elites can take bullets to the face like champions. Well, that's fine. And there's another guy here. This guy's weird. He's like out of bounds, basically. You can't actually get up to him to grab his ammo, unfortunately. Half of the threat eliminated. Ha, call these guys a threat. Pathetic. Right, let's grab the nades. You can actually hold like tons of nades as well. Like ridiculous amounts. More nades than we will ever use, sadly. Not for want of using them, but just they're a little bit awkward to use. Um, probably not going to come back here for a little while. Probably not going to come back here at all, to be honest. So we might as well grab that med kit. Patch me up. Oh, I love that sound. I really love that sound. Also, those medical canteens, or medicinal canteens, I always wondered, like, what was in those. I mean, I guess it's water, but I think he's having a drop of scotch. that probably sort you out. Although, booze does encourage bleeding because it thins the blood, so it's probably not a great thing to to knock back when you riddle with bullets. Hey, Fritzel. Where you hiding? Hey, Hans. There we go. Good night. There's this Gestapo dickhead walking off. There we go. Bullets in your ass, boy. Right, not bad. Let's go. Is that another med kit there? No, that's, that's a nothing. Okay, well, unlucky. Let's keep pressing forwards. Knock, knock, Fritz. Yeah. Cowardly bastards. Oh, hello. What did you say? Something about a frown line. Now, there is actually a cheat that we can unlock later on. It's not really a cheat. Don't know why they call it cheat, or code, I should say, that translates the German to English. Now, I quite like listening to the uh, Germans shouting German at you. But it's also quite interesting to hear what they're actually saying. Because unless you can speak German... I used to be able to speak German. I used to be almost fluent in German. When I left school, like, I don't know, 14 years ago. Whoa! But alas, that was a long time ago now. Right, sit down, Fritz. No more sauerkraut for you. All these bratwursts slowing these guys down. Too much sausage. What are you aiming at, son? Oh, God, hello. You're a bit more... Oh, God, we didn't finish you off. Always double tap, guys. Sit the fuck down. Hey, we've actually th neutralized the threat now. You know what? Let's switch up to the MG. Uh, there is the field surgeon kit there, but we don't want it. Don't want to always like grab the health furthest back from the level. Sometimes health does disappear, but only if you like discover it. I think through boxes and whatnot, which is why I don't tend to shoot boxes um, unless I need them. Now, where was that med kit? See, hear that Jerry? Then makes you think that there's a Jerry like right by you. It's like shit. Fritz is breathing down my neck. But of course, 
There is no Fritzel here. Uh, one thing I do like about this game as well, though I've only played the first of the seven missions. Um, it runs very smooth. I mean, yeah, okay, it's 25 frames a second. And not the 30 that you get from the, the NTSC version. But it doesn't feel like it's 30 frames, uh, 25 frames a second, you know. Very, like, interesting the way they optimize these old games. Yeah, a modern game that runs at 25 frames a second it feels like shit. Just fire up your PS4, your Xbox One, you'll see what I'm talking about. Ooh, hello. Although frame rates are significantly better than they used to be. Whoa, good night, sir. Always destroy the boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, give me the rounds. I'm very sensitive to frame rates. I hate lag. And there are some PlayStation 1 games that I've played recently. And holy balls. 10 frames a second is a luxury. Right. Oh, God. Hello. Have some bullets. This one doesn't do a lot of damage, unfortunately. Alright, sit down, Fritzl. Ah, uh, there's a little medikit there. Uh, I suppose we could go back and grab the field surgeon kit. Why not? Peterson's a... Was it Peterson or Patterson? I can't remember. But he's a pretty dab hand at sewing himself back together. It's always quite the requirement with the uh, action hero in video games. You need to be able to sew themselves back together. Alright, not bad. This guy's basically super glued duct tape by the time he's finished his campaign. Let me tell you. Swiss cheese. I'll leave that kit there. And there's another med kit there, which we're going to hold on to for now. Anybody? Anybody about? All quiet. Got some more nades there. Don't know why I'm picking all these grenades up, to be honest. Kind of pointless. Ah, oh, hey, bud! Yeah, that wood is not going to save you, unfortunately. Are you still alive? No, you're dead. I was going to say, what the fuck, man? This guy's got balls of steel. Oh, God. Hello. Ah, shit. Oh, I see. Ah, two for one. Get out of here. And you, sir. Have some bullets. Liberal use of bullets. That's what we like. We're not saving these bullets. There's a war effort on. Although we're not being billed by the bullets, so we're just going to spray them everywhere. Ah, bullets there and the med kit, but we'll leave that. I don't want to use it just yet. What the hell? Are you talking about sausages again? What is it with you Germans and pickled cabbages and sausages, honestly? Okay, well. Oh, hey, bud. Where are you going? Backing yourself into a corner, my friend. Well, that's fine. Shame you didn't back yourself into a box. Would have saved on the cleanup. Alright, looks like that's where we're going next. Okay, cool. Now, I like the level design as well. I mean, obviously, there's only so much they could do on the PlayStation, but the levels are quite detailed when you take the, the platform into consideration. Really did push the PlayStation. These guys were experts. Oh, let's hose them down, boys. He'll, oh, he'll, he dropped to the floor. I thought he was dead. They're quite hard to hit on the floor as well because of the way the gun aims. Oh, God, hello. He's already seen us, and his friend there as well. Hey, bud. How many of those did you catch between your teeth? Might be worth going back for a med kit in a minute. Come on. There we go. Holds them down, boys. Yeah, this gun is, like, massively inaccurate as well. You know what? Let's just grab that. Fuck it. It's there. don't think there's anything in here, either. This is just, like, a hidden little cubby hole. Just big enough to fit a kraut in there. Although, there's no kraut in there, so... I guess we won. <laughs> oh, hey, Fritz. Just standing there. With your dick in your hand. Boom! Any more? Oh, yeah. Hey, pal. I won't hide behind explosive munitions boxes. I'm just saying. Should have let him take cover behind one as well. Could have wasted his ass. Let's see if we've got anything hidden in these boxes. Generally, if, if a box explodes, there's nothing in it. 
But they don't all explode. Yours? Ah, oh, goddammit. Premature. There we go. Right, what have we got going on? What's on? Anything? Oh, hello! How did you miss me? Sitting there thinking about sausages. Whoa! No time to run home to mama, pal. Oh, God. Now, you can kind of juggle with this gun as well. Keep them stunned. Ah, evening. Okay, hose them down! Looks like they got a tiger or something. We don't want none of that business. Uh, alarm! Who are you shouting to? Your mum? Ah, she can come collect you. You're going home in bits, my friend. Yeah, now interesting. In the um, cutscene, they actually show that tank being animated. Because uh, you get this camera angle here. And the tank actually turns the turret and fires towards the um, the actual screen. Which, of course, it doesn't. Now, you've got to be careful down this alleyway. Go in backwards. Yeah, man. Hey, guys. I was waiting for you. What are you doing? Just taking a breather. And him. Lazy bastards. Sitting down on the job. Right. Well, what have we got through here? Marquee hideout located. Nice. So we're already there. We're already at the end of this level. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I'm thinking about doing this game uh, one section at a time because... Some of the sections are quite long, and I don't really want to have like 40, 50 minute videos, which does happen every now and again. Uh, but at the same time, it's only like 16 minutes. Yeah, I think we'll continue. We will continue. Alright, let's go to the hideout. See what's going on down here. Triumphant! Keep it up, soldier! I'm trying, sir! Right, one second, guys. And we're back, guys. Sorry about that. Right, let's continue. Uh, let's drop a save. I should have saved, really, whilst uh, I was taking a break. But, no matter. Let's go. Man, these memory cards are slow. I mean, I'd hate to imagine what, uh, what transfer rate they are. Interesting thing about the... Um, uh, PlayStation memory card as well. They everybody always thinks that they're one megabyte, but they're not. They're one megabit. Uh, actually, only 128k of data. Um, whereas the PlayStation 2 memory cards were eight meg standard, but they were actually eight megabyte. I always thought that was interesting. Let's go. Based on the report from the rescued pilot, we know the G3 injuries from the crash were bad but i just got word from a contact still hiding in the town that his wounds are much worse than we thought unfortunately your job as an oss agent doesn't lend itself to much sentimentality if you discover that the g3 hasn't survived through the night don't linger grab his attache case and run with the sun coming up there's no way you can risk going topside your only hope is to escape under the old sewer system under the town the same network of medieval tunnels that the marquis have been using as a hideout since the early days of the war search parties are closing in with full force to survive you're going to need something to help even the odds Thankfully, the Marquis have been stockpiling the Allied weapons that were smuggled in before the invasion. My contact says you can find a large cache of ammunition hidden behind a fake sewer grate located at the north northwest corner of the second big tunnel. Grab everything inside. Good luck, Patterson. Right you are. Right you are. The fight continues. I'm not sure what people think about... Uh, my borders, either, that I have on this game. I've heard that, um... I know at least one person is too keen on them. Right, let's ride. Now, this place looks quite nice. Lots of wine barrels here. Nice. And, unfortunately... Our G3 agent has not survived, so let's grab the case and get on out of here. Sorry, my friend, but I will carry the torch. 
Now, we actually have to come back here, and I'll explain why a little bit later on. We have a new enemy in this level as well. Let's keep going. Hey, friends. Oh, you can hear him. We have German Shepherd attack dogs. And uh, I always hated putting those guys down. But alas, there are no friends in war. Not even doggo friends. It is unfortunate. He's just trying to be a good doggo, man. My friend, you are a good boy. You were just doing your job. Ah, shit. Another one. Where are you coming from, Fido? Where are you coming from? Okay, I can hear him, but I can't see him. There you are, doggo. Actually, this dog seems to always get stuck there. When I was testing this level before, he was getting stuck in the same place. Oh, hey, pal. Hose you down with liberous, liberal amounts of bullets. Dude, seriously, give it a rest. I need to pick up some ammo off you. Let's just grab the SMG rounds without taking that med kit, because we're probably going to need that later. We also need to come... Oh, shit. We need to come back to the start. Oh, God. There he is. He's laying down. Now, let me go back to the start. I want to check something. Because... Two enemy soldiers actually spawned back here. And it was only because I got lost originally when playtesting play this that I realised they were even here. So, yeah, here they are. I don't know what... Damn it. I don't know what the requirement for those guys to spawn is. But if we don't kill them, I don't think we can get 100% completion. So bear that in mind if you're playing this yourself. You need to kill these guys. Forward onto Dawn. Right, we've got our bag. I'm assuming we've slung it over our shoulder. With all of our other thousands of weapons. I miss this in games, you know, where you can hold so many weapons. It's really cool. I like having my whole arsenal attached to my back. So you can thumb through your weapons thinking, ooh, what am I using? What does this situation require? Now up here, I think there's just some ammo and shit. We'll grab it. Get some nades and some bullets. Can never have too many rounds, especially for this puppy. She drinks... Oh, God, she drinks the lead. And uh, she's quite good at dispensing the lead as well. And our German friends are only too happy. They're hungry. They hunger for the lead. Come on, my friends. We are lead farmers. And harvest has been good this year. Hey, guys. Let's hose these guys down. Yeah, Uncle Fritz. Oh, I thought Uncle Fritzel was down. Get out of here, buddy. Little Hans won't be having Daddy come home today. Or ever. Ah, we've got a medical canteen here. We'll grab that sucker. Good drop of scotch in there, I'd imagine. Now, there should, yep, be another guy spawn. If you go and uh, grab that canteen, he spawns. Right, let's go check out the weapon cache. What have we got? So, apparently this is a large cache of weapons. Um, don't know what happened to the large cache of weapons. I see a trench gun and some shells. Well, no matter. The shotgun is actually classed as a heavy weapon in this game. One of two heavy weapons. Um, the shotgun always, to me, looked like it was bent. Look at it. It looks really strange. I think it's just the light that's shining on it, but it just literally looks like there's a slight curve in the barrel. But, having said that, the shotgun in this game is a monstrous beast. Oh, God. Get out of here, Fido. Yeah, this shotgun is meaty as hell. It's a fantastic weapon. I did hear running back here. Is uh, Mr. Hans? Mr. Hans, have you run? Have you run away up here? Nah, he wouldn't run that far away. No matter. Onwards! Our victory shall be absolute over this German scourge. Oh man, the music. This music's like, I don't know why, but I get like a Pixar kind of vibe to it. Ah, you come to find your pooch. I shall dispense the same justice. 
All right, let's grab some more rounds. All right, this place is dangerous because it's dark. You know, Fritzel's just hiding. Hiding head. Hello, my friend. You can see the spread pattern of the buckshot as well. Now, this shotgun actually has quite a nice range to it. It's not like a modern shotgun that has a range of about two feet. Now, my dad had a shotgun. Now, I can tell you, there's a respectable range on a shotgun. Where are you? Where are you shooting from? They're not exactly the two-foot wonders that they are portrayed in video games. Ah, yeah, they're above. Hey, pal, let's see that smile of yours. And they're a lot of fun to shoot as well. Ooh. Good night, Fritz. Well, he won't be going home. Let's grab this med kit. We've left some med kits behind us. That's fine. Oh, fuck my ass. No, no. Should have left those sausages. Ah, oh, God. He was taking shells to the face like a champ. Oof. You can see, um... You can see, like, how much impact there is with this shotgun as well. It's so cool. Like, the punch is really nice. It sounds good as well. Oh, fuck. Get out of here, Fido. I'm sorry, buddy. If I ever see you up in heaven, I'll say he was a good boy. Oh, hey, pal. You, you're scum. Although that's untrue. A lot of the German soldiers didn't want to fight. Right, let's grab some health. We've got plenty of health behind us as well. At least I think we have. You can hear Germans running as well in the ambient soundtrack. That used to catch me off guard quite a lot as, as a kid. I think PlayStation games have quite a unique atmosphere as well. Because it's so dark. But mainly that's due to the limitations of the machine. I'm sorry, buddy. Get fucked, pal. So we've got multiple choices. No, we do not. Multiple choices are a lie. Free will's an illusion, guys. Ooh, hello. Well, we've got 59 grenades. Hey, hands. Get your hands full with these. Spicy pineapples all round. Don't. Oh god, we got dogs. Oh no! No! Hot potato! Ooh! That actually killed a dog. Apparently. There should be two. Oh fuck. Yeah, it's not one of those games where you can hold the button down for longer and you throw it further or anything like that. You just throw depending on your arc. There's hey! We got one! Eh, 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 eh. Stupid bastard. Wow, we have so much ammo for the rifle. Not a lot for the mach the shotgun. Yeah. We'll put the shotgun in our back pocket for now. I assume that's where all these weapons are going. We just put them in our back pocket. We must have big britches. Yeah, I agree, buddy. Something about fucking his mum, I think. Ooh, hello. Ah, Mutt. The Mutt and his master. Well, he's gone. That, I think, is actually the right way to go. So let's check this place. Clear those corners, guys. Grab the nades in the canteen. Nice drop of scotch to keep the morale high. Okay, keep pushing. Hey, guys. Oh, hello. Rolling around in the floor. Born in a barn or something? Probably. Ooh. Hey, pooch. Now, one cool thing about the dogs is if you chuck grenades, the dogs will pick the grenades up and run towards you, which is equal parts cool and sad because it is a bit of a suicide run for the old pooches. Bless them. It's uh, always sad how animals are abused during war. I mean, animals are abused all the time. Saw a pretty terrible video 
of a kid slamming a, a cat's door, a cat's door, a cat's tail in a door on Facebook the other day. I'm not going to say what that kid deserves, but, you know. But yeah, animals are abused all the time, especially in like abattoirs and stuff like that. But, you know, in war, it's, it's always harsh. Right, well, I think we're just about there. We've killed 45 enemies. Let's go. Hopefully we've done enough. I don't think we've missed any enemies. We're on, we're on like 13 minutes. Damn, I'm blazing through these levels. First time round, they took me a good little while to complete. Okay. Triumph. Keep it up, soldier. You got it, sir. This operation is being planned as a success. We cannot afford to fail. With that declaration, the tone for D-Day was set. Allied troops were towed across the channel, seated inside gliders, whose pilots had only one chance for a successful landing. Thousands more traveled to France aboard Higgins boats, amphibious landing craft that were the key to the Allied triumph on D-Day. But the fight for Europe was just beginning, and not everything was going according to plan. And we've got our medal. Nice. Not bad. Um, yeah. I remember a lot of PlayStation games, when you completed um, the level, you was always rewarded uh, with a uh, FMV cutscene. And obviously this game is no exception to that. And it was such a cool, like, it's so hard to explain these days how mind-blowing that was at the time to see these full motion videos and the PlayStation was really good at full motion videos apart from the dodgy earlier models yeah they had issues actually playing the videos you get a lot of skimping and skipping and, and, and weirdness going on but they soon rectified that yeah the original the original PlayStation like the 1000 series such an interesting beast it had like a very cheap laser that was prone to fail and it struggled reading the FMV, which was like one of the strong points or selling points of the PlayStation. But it had some really cool connections on the back, like audio file grade outlets for um, connecting it to a high and hi-fi system and stuff like that. It was a really nice bit of kit. Um, shame that uh, it took them so long to rectify it. Never mind. Uh, this one that I've got is a 75,000, which is... Um, it was the last model, 75,000? 7,500 series, which was the last model before they uh, moved to the slim. So it's actually like the most reliable fat model, which is nice. So, why do I, just talking shit again. Anyway, guys, let's have a look at our medal and save the game before we continue. I've always, like, fancied having um, a, a mini PlayStation. I actually do have one. Somewhere. But I don't have a power pack for it. They had the external power supply. Um, but to me, it's not a PlayStation, man. I like the big grey meaty box thing. So they're the ones that I, I like to keep. I've got... I did have two of them, but one stopped working. Because it, I think it got damp. Um, right. Playstations were pretty reliable though. Apart from the original launch models. So if we go to war records. Check out personal records. Yeah, so let's see our performance thus far. So we've destroyed 128 Nazis. We've already, we've like wasted tons of them. Holy shit. Not bad. Our favourite weapon is the MP40. Actually a 50% which... Not bad, I suppose. We're an arm slinger. Definitely an arm slinger. 70 headshots. I'm alright with that. And here's our medal. We've got the Distinguished Service Medal. Interesting. Now, where is our cheat codes that we unlock? I do love this uh, menu system. Uh, it's very cool. I think it's in options. Um, passwords. Ah, secret codes. Here we go. 
So, ah, uh, okay, yeah. So you've got two types of secret codes. You've got like the top two, which you can use whenever you want. Nifty multiplayer power-ups. Like I can't even remember what that does, to be honest. I know it changes the what enemies drop in multiplayer. I think you can get some goofy items. Uh, and then there's another code that we'll unlock the next one. I can't remember what that is either. Uh, something that's not that useful. But then you get the cool codes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of these awesome codes. They're like God Mode with unlimited health, unlimited ammo. There's some weird multipliers as well. Like you don't have to reload your weapons. Um, there's one that massively increases your weapon fire rate. I think it's like wireframe mode as well. A few other things. But you can only, um, as it says there, you can only turn those on on levels you've already completed, which is a bit disappointing. Now, I do have an Exploder or Explorer cheat cartridge uh, attached to my PlayStation, so I could just like unlock all of these, but where's the fun in that? Um, that would make getting 100% a guarantee, but we're going to do it the old school way. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. When we return, we're going to go on to the second mission of the game, which is a totally different vibe to it. Uh, yeah, it's more of a stealthy mission, and uh, they, they can be quite challenging. They are certainly levels that you do need to memorize, and you need to know where you're going and what you're doing, etc. But uh, we're going to cross that bridge when we get to it I guess so thank you very much for watching guys hope you've enjoyed it and as always till next time